So I spent a super time here at Lakeside this afternoon, networking round the bridal fair. I didn't find myself a husband, but then I wasn't really looking for husband number three. However, I have got potential new clients for us, and I know lots more about more island businesses and met lots of lovely people. So it's a nice afternoon out, and it was free. So I made it back from the wedding fair okay, and now it's nearly time to cook my tea. But I have an interesting fact for you. It's a special day today. Do you know what it is? I'm going to give you a little clue first. So did you guess? It's National Cooker Sweet Potato Day. And I love sweet potatoes. I think it's an American one, but I'm going to pinch it for the UK. So those of you who have been following my Snapchats will know I'm on a new uh, grain-free diet. Sweet potatoes are a major part of my diet now. So I'm going to try a new chicken dish tonight that sounds delicious, that uh, fits my new diet. And I'm going to make some sweet potato chips, which are delicious. But I'm also going to make some sweet potato chocolate brownies. So watch this space. Now those of you who watched my Snaps chat on Friday will know that I had an errant tomato. And here is the errant tomato and he's for the chop this afternoon. Hello, please save me. So what do you think folks? Should I save him? Will I be reported to the, for cruelty to vegetables? Perhaps I'd better save him this time. OK, so I've had a change of heart and given this tomato a stay of execution. If you want to know why, you'll have to watch in another snap. OK, so the reason that I saved this tomato for now was because he had a really good excuse for jumping out of the bag on the bus. He clearly knew that I um, am a great networker and, fo and always follow Kerry Phipps's advice and do talk to strangers. So Kerry Phipps and I connected um, oh, um, September last year and we've been Facebook friends ever since then. I've read Kerry's book, Do Talk to Strangers, makes a lot of sense. But actually, over the years, I found myself talking to all sorts of people in all sorts of places. So maybe that's why they call me the connection queen. I talk to strangers and I then end up connecting them to other people, whether it's for business or community or whatever. So clearly, when my tomato hopped out of the bag on the bus, he just wanted to go off networking with all those lovely people. So for now, so for now, he's not going to be chopped up and put in tomato soup. He'll be networking around the vegetable rack. Watch this space. I'd like to thank Blake for doing a shout out on Sad Singing Sunday, which has resulted in me having new followers. So please screenshot the next snap. I'd also like to thank Mark Shaw for um, mentioning me on his Periscope, or was it his Snapchat? I can't remember. But then I am a granny brain at the old age of 65, but I'm loving Snapchat and loving engaging with lots of you. I've just taken my sweet potato brownies out of the oven just before the end of Cooker Sweet Potato Day. I just have to wait for it to cool down before I can have a taster. And over here I've been cooking tomato soup, but the errant tomato of my Snapchat stories is not in there. He's sitting on the side, waiting to network. Oh, I'm in quite a rage this morning. I hope my friends on Snapchat can help me. It's clearly going to be one of those days. I've had hours and hours of trying to delete photographs so I can save my Snapchat story. I've got an iPhone 6 Plus and I've deleted loads and loads of stuff and it still keeps telling me there's no storage. Any tips? Snap me back if you've got an answer for me, please. Please. So my iPhone's playing up. Let me load. Oh, 
pain. It's had a change of heart. And it is letting you live.